52-year-old Claude Campbell is living a dream come true. Campbell, since retiring as owner of Campbell & Sons Oil Company in Huntsville two years ago, has been building his dream, a 220-acre cattle ranch that includes one big barn in his hometown of Grant. It's a dream come true. Sure is, Jamie. What do you feel like when you come out here and walk through this barn across this pastures cattle. Well, when I'm talking to these cattle, they don't answer me. When I was running the gasoline business, we had a lot of problems. Had a lot of people to satisfy. So if you get upset at these cattle, you can talk back to them. They won't say nothing, but them people would get, they'd get to you. I say you don't see too many that's got polished uh, brass fixtures in it. <laughs> I bought that at a bargain, Jamie. That's really nice putting that in. Campbell's barn is a sight to behold, complete with an office, stables, and plenty of parking. Ranch foreman Junior James says it's one of the best. Well, we've been told that this could be one of the largest and best barns in the state. It's a great big barn, real nice inside and out. What are the comments you've got to make about the high price of gas? <laughs> Keep buying it. <laughs> you got to have it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep buying that gas. <laughs> As a kid growing up, Claude Campbell says he always wanted a cattle ranch. That was his dream. Well, after looking around out here, I'd say he's got one. A nice one, too. In Grant, I'm your country rover, Jamie Cooper. Don't forget to get a good look at his barn. Keeping his garden watered even during the hot, dry summer hasn't been a problem for 56-year-old Billy Gann of Dutton. We get a little more wind here, really. Put out a pretty good stream. Gann, who has city water, also has another source, a 50-foot windmill he moved from Indiana to here on his 20-acre farm two years ago. Well, I've always been fascinated by them, and I thought I'd get me one of them. What do most people think about it? Uh, there, there are not too many of them around, and people come by, and they stop occasionally and look at it, and uh, they're pretty uh, enthused about it. But a lot of people want me to get them one, if I can find them, but they're hard to find anymore. Does it have an advantage to being out here in New York? Uh, well, my wife made me put it back here. Where'd you want to put it? Well, closer to the house. In high winds, Gann can shut down his pride and joy. However, most of the time the windmill can be seen pumping water from the well behind Gann's house. Billy Gann seldom worries about running low on water, because like he says, when the wind blows, the water flows. In Dutton, I'm your country rover, Jamie Cooper. That ain't no whirly gig. Ford, uh, Ford cap here, one of the later models, double spoke hub cap. If anybody knows his hubcaps, it's 81-year-old Harvey Jack Harry of Talladega, the owner of Harry's Flea Market. Uh, How'd you get interested in hubcaps? Well, I started collecting me just hubcaps for a hobby, you know, just putting a few together, you know, sets of real rare hubcaps, old hubcaps. Mm -hmm. and Several years ago when I first met Harry, he had a collection of about a million wheel covers. Today, not only does he have almost three million in his assemblage, but Harvey Jack Harry is officially a hubcap king, and I'm not joking. There's never seen a king in the United States of America, so I decided I'd just go out to be a king. King? A king of, of hubcaps, and that's what I'd have got it. Sure enough, three weeks ago, in a ceremony at his roadside flea market, Harry was crowned the king of hubcaps. King Harry, along with his title, has a satin robe, jeweled crown, and a hubcap throne. So just how does the new king feel? Feels great to be a king. Really? No. I ascribe myself as being about the most important fellow there is in this world. I like it. I like being a king. I like being doing what I am doing. There ain't many people can be that way. He's the king on the throne. He's the king of his home. He's the alpha and omega of the hookcap dynasty. Being a king like Harvey Jack Harry is may not mean much to people like me and you, 
But to King Harry here, it means a lot, even though he is just King of Hubcap. Is that about he's right, King? King? In Talladega, with the King he's Harry the of Hubcap. I'm your country rover, Jamie Hubcap Cooper. Dynasty. I'm just, when I ain't doing this, I'm just lost. I can't sit down. I get out of the bed in the morning at 5.30 to leave the house at 6. 72-year-old Tom Hot Rod Parker knows what it's like to work for a living. For the past five years on a daily basis, Hot Rod Parker has been wheeling his homemade pickup up and down the busy streets of Decatur. His pickup, made of the insides of an old refrigerator and his honeymoon bed rails, is really something special. Well, it's just like driving a car. There's a lot of pleasure to it. You think as much of that car as you do a pickup truck? I wouldn't give it for one. You wouldn't give it for what? A pickup for what? my own use. Parker has no complaints about his daily routine. He sure beats staying home and doing nothing. Yes, sir. It's pretty good work. But it's just uh, mostly that you just keep from doing nothing. Mostly what? Keep from doing nothing. And I just ain't gonna sit down. I mean. Tom Parker was killed recently when he was struck by a car while picking up cans on Highway 24 in Decatur.